Welcome. In today's screencast, we're going to look at the Uniface U router and U server. We will start with an overview of the U router, look at the differences between shared and exclusive U servers, look at how to implement multiple U routers, talk about fallback paths, and finally look at the U router monitor and the U router API. The U-Router is the multi-threaded Uniface daemon that runs on the server and manages connections between the client and server-side virtual machines. The Uniface U-Router manages a dynamic pool of these virtual machines called Uniface U-Servers. It intelligently dispatches requests to any of the three processes. It also handles inter-process communication through message passing using Uniface statements such as post message. It provides monitoring capability allowing you to see the state of the processes and the number of requests handled. The U router itself is able to listen on multiple ports and use multiple protocols. In its default configuration the U router will provide a level of load balancing. In this mode, it will dispatch requests to the oldest idle virtual machine. It chooses this algorithm rather than a round robin approach so that the youngest processes get a chance to time out. If it used a round robin approach, every process would have an equal load and therefore never time out. If all processes are busy at the time of a new request, then the U-Router will create a new virtual machine and dispatch the request to the new process. A virtual machine is considered busy if it has an open transaction, hit list, or is currently executing proc code. The behavior of the load balancing is configurable through settings such as max, max requests, and max idle. Max sets the maximum number of processes that can be created if the maximum number has been created at the point of a new request when all virtual machines are busy, the new router will queue the requests until a virtual machine becomes free. Max requests sets the maximum number of requests a virtual machine will process before shutting down. And max idle sets the maximum time a process may remain idle before shutting down. Within the U-Router configuration file, multiple virtual machines can be specified. Each of these can be set to one of two modes, either shared, which is a default, or exclusive. In the shared mode, a pool of processes is created and managed by the U-Router, as described on the previous slide. All communication is via the U-Router through a single port, and the default for Uniface 9 is 13001. In shared mode, there is no guarantee that consecutive client requests will always go to the same use server process. Therefore, stateful information such as global variables cannot be relied upon. The second mode is exclusive. In this mode, each client process has its own dedicated virtual machine. The initial handshaking is done by the U-Router, but after that, all communication is direct from the client to the server-side process. The communication port used in this case is generated during that handshake and used from there on. The only exclusion to this is post messaging, which still goes via the U-Router. This generated port can cause problems for firewall administrators because they don't necessarily know what port number is going to be generated. A level of control can be applied by using the slash gate switch. Using this, a range of ports can be specified and the U-Router will search for one of these ports and assign that if it is free. The thing to make sure of here is that enough ports are included in the range to cover the maximum number of concurrent clients. A planned enhancement for the U-Router in the future is to make exclusive work for a single port as well, negating the need for the gate switch and making the life of the firewall administrator easier. We'll now look at the U-Router in action. I have a simple service 
called sir underscore maths and it has an operation add I have a sleep in there so that I can put artificial load on the U servers I have a client server form and the add button activates the operation add on the serve math service returning the result into the C field that we see on screen if we look at the assignment file we can see that I have a remote path to my U router I've called the UST Dojo and I'm mapping all services that begin with SER to that path see the service is called SER underscore maths the uRouter assignment file has a configuration setting for the UST which defines the U servers that will act as the Uniface virtual machines okay so if I run the test form we can see that the U router is running and when I enter my values and hit add we should see a U server start up and there's the U server process the U router will continue to reuse that process because there isn't sufficient load at this stage if I create another client I'm running in shared mode so this client when they do an add will also reuse that U server again there's not enough load at this stage we'll now switch it to work in exclusive mode and look at the difference in the assignment file I'll add the EX switch to the path line. I'll restart the U router to pick up the configuration change. I'll start my first client and do a sum and we can see the first U server has started I'll start a second client do a calculation and we can see a dedicated U server starts up for that client too I'll just change the configuration back to shared mode. We'll now simulate some load using a web page. The web page gives me the ability to just press refresh multiple times and because I've got the sleep statement the U server will remain busy while the refreshes are coming in and so we should see multiple U servers start as the U router dispatches work to new worker threads. Okay, so under light load, we're just seeing one new server. I'll now start hitting refresh rapidly. So I'm just pressing F5, enter to get it to force multiple requests to go through. And we can see, because I've got that sleep statement and the use servers remain busy, multiple use servers are now starting up.